Yeah, hi, this is Tommy from the FPV Geeks. Uh, today we try something which hasn't been seen by us, at least, in the internet. Um, and this is uh, the all-known follow me mode for the uh, APM and the Pixhawk. Uh, you know about that, but what we do now is that uh, the copter doesn't follow one of us, but, but it follows another copter. And for that reason, uh, let me just uh, show you our little setup here. We have uh, two 650 Predator copters. Uh, the frame is from Hobby King. Uh, you've probably seen them uh, in some other videos. Um, today, we put the smartphone, which is an Huawei P7, onto one copter, um, also with the telemetry on that. And this smartphone is the follow me device. And um, before we start, we have to arm both copters for sure. Then um, we have to set follow me mode here on the cell phone to have the other copter, which is the, the following copter, uh, go into hover, then start the follow mode on the smartphone. And also I have a Pebble watch here and I control can control also the modes from the Pebble watch. Uh, but we will try how this will work um, later. So again, the first steps is hover, the copter which is supposed to follow this one and this one will be manually controlled from uh, the, the regular uh, transmitter. Um, then bring this to hover, set follow um, and then start this copter and fly a little bit around here uh, across the meadows over Malbron. And let's uh, try if this will work. So we are all excited about that. Okay, so just one thing. Um, I have a three-way switch here on the Tyrannus and uh, it is programmed uh, with the first position to stabilize mode, second position to loiter and third position to return to land. And this is just for safety reasons. Uh, if anything goes wrong with the follow mode and, and uh, for example if um, the copter loses connection to the device or the device uh, stops working I have always a fail-safe um, way or a fail-safe mode that I can uh, set the return to home. And um, the programming within the Pixhawk is done in that way that always the last command, either from the smartphone or from my regular transmitter, is the one which is selected then. So um, the example is if I start in follow mode, uh, the copter stays in follow mode, even if I have here stabilize mode selected. But when I do some change at the three-way switch on the regular transmitter, this overrides the follow mode and the selected mode will be applied to the Pixhawk. Um, and this is just for safety reasons, let's say. Uh, I always keep this controller in my hand and just watch if everything goes right with the follow mode. So just for uh, those of you who know about the follow mode of the APM and Pixhawk, uh, there are six other ways or six specific modes within follow, which you can set. There's leash mode, there's lead mode, there's left and right mode, which just means that the copter stays behind you or right in front of you or left or right of you. Then there's a circle mode and an above mode. And uh, for our first test, we start with leash mode, which means that the copter in, uh, will, will always follow behind uh, the manually controlled copter uh, just for, let's say, the, the first steps. Uh, let's try how this works, uh, let's figure out how this works out and if this works fine, uh, we will probably uh, select circle mode and have our follow copter circle always around this one. But as I said, for safety reasons, we should start with leash mode. So first of all, I power up the cell phone and now I connect to the Pixhawk. Okay, connecting was successful. So first of all, then we have to start the GoPros just to have start the footage GoPro. ready. So what I do now is I 
I just arm it manually, picks off. Then I take this a little bit to, to the back that it doesn't hit us if anything goes wrong at the start. Um, sure. Okay, I arm it. Just uh, stay a little bit. Okay, so take off. <laughs> So Matt is now starting the other copter. The other one is hovering right above us right now. So I follow you now. Nothing special. And I just tried to get the footage from the camera directly from the both copters. You can see now if Matt is turning the copter, the other one is following. Should we try circle mode? Okay, so now that the first shot with the leash mode was a success, uh, we are eager now to try circle mode. Same setup. Um, we we'll just hover, start, and then switch to circle mode and see what happens. So I'm hoping you 